what is up and welcome back to the channel everybody thank you for tuning back in today gonna do kind of a different video that I haven't done in a while where we are just gonna open up some cars so I have a whole stack here down to my left of some cars that I've kind of been holding on to for a little bit and today um, this video is just gonna be some main lines and we have one matchbox and we'll probably we're just gonna start off with the matchbox right now so I just came across this the, uh, the other day. Uh, I've done some reviews and openings of these Matchbox moving parts before. Um, I think uh, some of the new the convertible M4s. So let's uh, crack open this i8 to see what it's all about. Oh, these are childproof. Oh, there we go. Okay. So there it is. Um, I would say it's it's a little underwhelming. I think size-wise, it looks kind of more like an SUV and not really like a sleek sports car. I don't think they got the size right. And then the the door is like not paint matched at all. So that's interesting. Let's see. Yeah, the doors are really hard to get open too. So there it is with the doors open. And yeah, not my favorite. Not my favorite. So um, okay, we'll start a little start a little lineup over here. Toss the garbage. Alright, well that was kind of a underwhelming start here, I would say. So let's uh let's spice it up real quick. So here, so I got these at my local hobby shop. Um, I swung in and uh, saw these and wanted to pick them up. So this is the 50th anniversary um, Nissan GTR R35. And I think this is the first edition because it says the new for 2017. So I think this is the first casting. And it's in this um, like metallic silver. This thing, the paint looks really nice on it. So I'm pretty hyped. Get this guy, add him to the R35 collection. Yeah, you can see the flake in the paint job. And this has, you know, very nice tampos on the front, very nice tampos on the back. You can see the iconic four brake lights, the four big exhaust tips. Yeah. All right, we're, we're moving on back up after that. After that slow start, that is much better. Now let's, uh, let's open up his counterpart here, the 50th anniversary, which is in uh, just a white, it's a nice red stripe, it's got kind of like a gray little uh, lip kit on it, nice tampos, sweet, these will, uh, these will be two nice cars to add to the R35 collection. And next up, this was another one that I found at the hobby shop. Um, so I don't know if it's really anything too special. I don't know if it's part of the uh, like Hot Wheels 50th anniversary, um, but just kind of a cool Corvette. Has the Hot Wheels racing team livery on it, but it's it's not like the typical uh, blue. I'm trying to see if I have one here next to me, and I don't. But it's usually kind of a different blue. Not even quite. So here's the R35 with like the little Hot Wheels, but yeah. And I kind of like the wheels. The wheels are kind of funky on it. So I yeah, thought I would, I would pick it up while I was looking around. Oh yeah, so it is. It's like a nice matte, nice matte finish. Those, that thing actually looks pretty sweet. Very cool. The orange underbody has actually kind of some decent weight to it. So yeah, that one, ah, I am not disappointed at all with that purchase. Uh, I don't know if you also noticed in the background, my Ryu Asada um, S2000 came in. So I added that up to the board. Very excited about that car. Um, this, that was a very cool, 
very cool thing that the RLC did there to honor Ryu there. Um, next up, I think this might be like one of my first um, 918s that I've opened up. So in this, I believe this is the first edition that has that new for, whoa, that thing popped off really easy. So just silver, silver with black. Nothing too crazy going on, but cool one to add to my, uh, my Porsche box. Very cool. I think that's the only Porsche of the day. So next up we have the Ford GT. I got this one. It's uh, I'm not sure what the Ford color code is on that, but I know like the Chevy is like that grabber blue. Um, man, what is it called? I'm trying to think uh, that dude in blue on YouTube. He has his, uh, his Ford Mustang in it. Is it grabber blue? I don't think it is, but anyway, I digress. Yeah, this car is pretty cool. It's got the headlight tampos on the front, racing stripe down the middle. It's got the big cutouts there for the air ducts on the side, which look really cool. And man, yeah, just a little tampo in the back would have been cool. A little brake lights and maybe some color for the exhaust tip, but I guess that's what you get. It's just a base model, so still pretty cool. I like the bright color on that, so we'll put that here up front, squaring off with the Porsche. Uh, these are ones I actually just picked up just this morning, so this is also another new for 2020, and I think this one came out in a grayish color um, as well, so the Koenigsegg Gamera, they are, all their cars kind of sound the same, you have the like Agera. Now the Gamera, kind of interesting, but still pretty, a pretty popping orange color. The orange on black, even with the orange interior. These are pretty cool. I wonder if they'll um, come out with this in a, in a premium model, because this one would be really cool to see in a premium. But for now, that's what we got. Okay. So this was also, these next two, I got two Lotuses today that just I just saw. It was this N, N case. So I don't know if I have to check and see if that other Lotus is also from N case. But yeah, I hadn't, hadn't seen these. Pretty sporty looking. Oh wow, the detail on the back is really cool with all the brake lights, license plate, exhaust coming out the back, racing stripe, very cool. This might be a, might have to be a wheel swap contender, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Stay tuned to Wheel Swap Wednesdays, you might be seeing this guy. And another, another Lotus, and this one also is from N-Case. So Lotus is getting a lot of love here on the N-Case. So this is the Lotus Avige, Avija, Avia. I don't know. Is the J silent? Someone help! Someone help me out with that down there. This is a really nice casting, though. I like the clear, uh, like the clear roof and windows, and then you can see in the yellow interior, which kind of goes with the yellow, like tampos on the side. And I love this color. It's like that British racing green. Very nice. Stack him up with his other, his other Lotus buddy. Okay, we got one more here. So this is this is a first ever for me on the channel. So I have never opened up, or I don't think I even own. This is the first uh, Nissan Skyline R33. Very cool. This was part of a Nissan set from back in back in the day. Let's crack it open. Oh, that's 
going to be difficult too. I swear I've done this before. Okay, and there we go. Very cool. So actually, I know I think the R33 is like probably the least sought after of all the Skylines, but I don't know. I really, I really like it. I think it has a lot of good characters from the 34 and the 32 kind of put together. This red color with the little black stripe on the side. It's pretty sweet. Just maybe in need of some different wheels. So once again, wheel swap Wednesday contender right here. Very nice. Okay. Stacked garbage here to clear out. And then last up, I just grabbed this today as well. I'm seeing a couple people pick this up recently, the Nightburner set. So very cool set, it has the police car, the Mazda RX-7, Honda Prelude, Datsun pickup, and the uh, McLaren Speedtail. So let me get this guy opened up. This is a pretty, um, so I'm not really a fan of the, of the cop car, it's kind of whatever, but all the other cars, very cool. I said, here's the cop car, Alpha Pursuit. Not 100% sure. I guess it's this is supposed to be the cop, and then these are the guys, the night burners, who are running from the cops, I guess. But very cool. I love the yellow with the white wheels. Very neat. And this prelude, the prelude casting is awesome. Really like this. And I like how it has kind of the white like accent on the wheels, so just like all whited all whited out, super clean looking. Dots and pickup. I'm digging the wheels, the color, very nice. And then last, but not least here, the McLaren Speedtail. A nice like violet purple color, very cool. So that is gonna be it for today. So let me know what what your favorite is here today out of everything. Um, if I had to, if I had to vote here, well, least favorite for sure was the Max, uh, Matchbox i8. That thing was like very underwhelming. I'm even disappointed I actually even bought it, but I am a big BMW fan, so got to add it in. But I think for me, either this R35 or the red R33. I think those are going to be probably my top my top picks so both skylines are bringing it home for me getting the w so let me know what you guys think and let me know if you like these type of videos um, i have a couple saved up i'm going to do the same type of video but with uh, premiums so be on the lookout for that and until next time i'll catch you guys later peace